Hello YouTube, what is up? I hope your week is going as well as it possibly can. Um, as you can see, I'm in the public test build right now for the Chapter 21 Hellraiser, and I do hope to be putting out some content soon of some gameplay as and against Pinhead. Um, please don't judge my killing skills. I am I'm very obviously a survivor main. <laughs> But uh, hopefully that's coming soon and uh, will be a lot more fun and better than the sad news of today, which I'm sure you may have already heard, and that is that Stranger Things is going away. Um, as you can see, I am a Nancy main, and I love her, uh, so I am very sad about this. Let's talk about it. So here we go. This is on Dead by Daylight's Twitter. I posted this link. And on November 17th at 2 p.m., the license for Stranger Things that Behavior has with Netflix will be ending. What this means is that the Hawkins map is going to be going away for forever. Uh, well, let me say this. Okay. For the foreseeable future, we will not have access to the Stranger Things content for newer players or as the map. Um, things can happen, a uh, new license, or the license can be reinstated or renewed, but to be realistic, it's very unlikely that will happen. It's best to just assume Stranger Things is gone. So, November 17th, the map gets shut down. Nobody's going to have access to that. Uh, for those of you who have offerings for Hawkins, they will be grayed out and retired kind of like when we couldn't use the um the rpd badge for a while or if anybody remembers the moon bouquets it's just it'll stay in your inventory it'll be grayed out it'll say retired and you can't use it anymore you also can't go to the map in customs it'll be gone unfortunately so that does stink but that is the way of business i guess so yeah, so that goes away. Now, for characters, if you own the characters before the 17th, you will get to keep them. You will have Nancy, you'll have Steve, you'll have Demo. Um, if you don't have any of those, you have until the 17th to buy them. And starting today, the 18th, when this video is going up, all of the characters are going to be 50% off. It doesn't seem like they're going to be any cheaper before then, or around then. Um, so... 50% seems like it's like the best deal, except for if you don't have any of them. Like if you're only missing one or two, then go ahead and like do the 50% thing. Um, if you don't have any of them, then from August 18th to September 8th, you can buy the entire pack for 60% off, which is the best deal. If you, yeah, 60% off for the chapter. And if you happen to be someone who is brand new or... Uh, and hasn't even bought Dead by Daylight yet, and you happen upon this, you can purchase the Stranger Things edition of Dead by Daylight, which includes the base game plus Stranger Things for half off. So that's actually a really good deal. Um, unfortunately, it does include or exclude Japan and Asia for that sale, um, but you can see right here, um, and I will link to this as well um, in the description if you guys want to go and read some more details. So yeah, if you own the characters before the 17th of November, you get to keep them. From the 18th to the 8th, they have that sale. All cosmetics are going to be 50% off. So if there is anything in the store that you wanted to buy that you haven't yet, which for me is this. <laughs> I never even wanted this, but now I'm like, it's exclusive. I have to have it. <laughs> um... Anything that you haven't purchased yet that you want, uh, I'm going to have to get Steve's sailor outfit. I can't, oh god, I can't, I can't not have this. I have to buy it. Anyway, these are normally 1100, or yeah, 1100 Oryx cells. They're going to be 650, so you can get a whole bunch of these. Um, Jonathan, I think, is usually 1500 if you want Jonathan. That's going to be half off, so 750. So... Yeah, um, you can purchase these up until November 17th um, through September 8th is when they'll actually be on sale for half off. 
that's the time when you want to actually get the, um, let me pull it up here, the actual outfits and everything. Uh, as far as how much this adds up to an orc sells, uh, over 6,000, definitely, because I, like I said, I have pretty much all of Nancy's. I'm missing Steve's, I'm missing demos, and I think when I did the math, I need about 7,000 orc cells to complete the collection. So, uh, it, it's, it's a lot of money, but if you want it, this is your chance to get it. Um, as far as the best outfits for Nancy, I would say is Days of Rose, an impulsive activist. Um, Steve obviously scoops away. It's great. Um, Geomutation is the, the Kamagorgon. So, if you want it, <laughs> go ahead and get it, I guess. Um, but yeah, so why this is happening, nobody actually knows. Um, the, the license is ending. That's, that's all it is. Um, so yeah, November at 2pm. If you own the characters, you'll still be able to access it, but the map will be retired. You can still play it. Um, you don't lose any achievements if you've gotten the adepts. Um, they'll just be made more generic. And for teachable perks, uh, they will remain available to earn on those characters for players who owned them, with new versions of these teachables being made available in the Shrine of Secrets to all players. Any player who has already earned a teachable perk will continue to have, the available, have it available to learn on other characters. It does include all platforms, including mobile. Um, Stranger Things content downloaded before november 17th with the exception of the map will remain available for players streamers and influencers alike so i can still play nancy on stream which i'm very grateful for because yes i am a nancy name <laughs> um even if you purchase characters with oric cells you can still you're still good to have them so you get to keep everything um all of the Anything that you get, again, like I said, you get to, to keep all the characters and everything. So, like, that's good. You don't lose everything. And we love that. Um, I think what is saddest about this, to me, is we lose all of the future outfits. Like, let's face it. Nancy's a style icon. And when we got Jonathan, I mean, people were really excited because it meant we would get some legendary characters. And I know... Like, a lot of people were looking forward to Robin. Who doesn't want some Scoops Ahoy action? If you just get, like, Robin and Steve together, wouldn't that be great? And then Joy's would have been another really great legendary. We're not getting that. That's really sad. I'm also a little bit sad because um, new players aren't going to get to partake in the Stranger Things stuff, right? Like, this is going to be... Only the people who are here now get Nancy, Steve, and Demo. And, I don't know, that's kind of sad to me. Like, I love running into other Nancy mains. I think it's it's really exciting to find another main in the, uh, in the trial with you. Like, that's fun. And we're just going to become a rare breed. So that kind of stinks. And all the new players will never get a chance to. So, I know I, I plan to keep making content as long as I can, and there's definitely going to come a time where people are going to start asking, how did you get Nancy? And then I get to talk about how, oh, behavior ended the license with Netflix, or Netflix ended the license with behavior. I don't think we'll ever know which is which, but yeah. So that kind of stinks. Now, if you don't have the characters and you're debating on which ones to get, um, let me go ahead and talk about that real quick. So... Um, if you don't have Nancy, I do think she is worth it, um, as far as when it comes to perks. She's a fairly quiet survivor. She's kind of small, so if you're into, like, playing a little bit more stealthy, she can get away with it. Um, inner strength and fixated are in no way meta, but they do have a really good place in specific builds. If you're running a locker build, or if you do solo queue a lot, inner strength is awesome. Fixated, if you like to do infinite exhaustion builds, is also really great. Better Together has its place. Um, I use this a lot when I need to do tome challenges that involve co-op. I bring Better Together and Prove Thyself and the other survivors, even when I'm solo queue, get on board. They understand what's happening. Um, there is a chance, by the way, the artwork for Inner Strength 
and maybe better together probably not that one's pretty generic looking inner strength is clearly nancy um there's a chance the artwork may change by the way just a heads up um oh let me open that back up now steve steve has about a medium build uh he's pretty loud so not very stealthy but it's steve we love this himbo um again second win and babysitter the artwork we may possibly see change slightly who knows um now babysitter is kind of a throwaway perk not really worth it camaraderie is pretty great um this is one that you see a lot in like comp teams if you play swift it's a really good one to bring especially to counter camping and then uh second wind again not really a meta perk it's along the same lines of like fixate inner strength it's pretty decent it's pretty fun i love running second wind um so i think perk wise both of these are pretty okay i would put nancy above steve but that could also be me playing favorites now on the killer side demo demo recently got buffed uh or well not yeah uh, not really buffed maybe a little reworked i would say um demo is great demo is i don't play killer a lot i don't really enjoy playing killer a lot um, but demo is a killer i can say that i have so much fun playing as and against and if you don't own demo i i would highly recommend buying demo um he's just look at this little pupper he's just so great um uh, for as far as like his perks they're they're meh like surge is probably the best one in my opinion you don't ever have to worry about kicking gens or anything it just basically kicks the gen for you which is nice um mind breaker if you get fed up with everybody always running sprint burst and dead hard <laughs> this can help you um cruel limits doesn't really it blocks windows around a generator if it's completed i have a meme build that's just like bamboozle crowd control cruel limits and it's just the i hate windows um but again like the teachables will be available in the shrine of secrets so you can purchase them that way um if you prefer so if you are looking to get the characters solely for the teachables you can always go through the shrine um but otherwise uh i would say demo is just really fun to play if you don't have him i recommend getting demo and then nancy and steve like all the other survivors they're just a skin all the survivors are pretty interchangeable so if you don't care about the skin don't worry about it you can get the perks in the shrine um but if you want the skin get it because look nancy's just nancy's just so cute i love her um anyway this has gone on forever of me being sad <laughs> uh that stranger things is just going away and um yay i guess i get to be part of an elusive club of stranger thing mains um but i'm not i'm not really thrilled about it this is kind of sad it also it it makes me wonder like obviously no contract is ever 100 percent. so i'm curious what this means for future licenses or current ones that they hold now if any of those could ever back out um, what will happen if we ever get any back um what all of that means so yeah i mean obviously i don't think behavior ever planned for this when they initially brought on stranger things they made an entire map for it so i don't think they would expend those resources if they ever planned for it to go away um i'm sure people are hearing rumors that like netflix pulled out because they think that dead by daylight's dying or i don't know there's like so many rumors that are going around so all i have to say before i end this is everything is rumors the only people who know why this license is coming to an end is behavior and netflix nobody else is gonna know um even the fog whispers probably don't even know or and we'll probably never know that that's just a, a fact of it um contracts end all the time i used to work in the world of contracts and the fact that we're getting 90 days heads notice to like buy all of this stuff to make sure we have it is actually like really decent to be honest um i've seen contracts end with only a 30 day notice so the fact that we get 90 days is is wild um and really good for us still sad that it's happening but um i do like that we got that big of a heads up for it and yeah so um if you <laughs> i guess if you want to 
stick around for some legacy Nancy main shenanigans. I'm always here. I stream twi on Twitch uh, Dead by Daylight every Friday night. And I'm making videos here on YouTube uh, up to three times a week. And yeah. So if you guys, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm just sad. It's just, you know, a shame that this is happening, but it is what it is. And at the end of the day, we get to keep the characters. And I think that's very important. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. I will see you later with some hopefully pinhead content. And you have a wonderful time in the fog. Bye! <laughs>